the power of a smile. Hey, Kathy Owen here, certified fitness trainer and mindset coach since 2002, transforming lives in what appears to be magic fashion using Stop the Mind Screw process. There is power in a smile. So back in about 2007, I had a client hire me to train her to do push-ups. For she was joining the military. She was 18 years old and she was joining the military. The first thing I had her do in our first session was get down and do a push-up. And she goes, Kathy, I can't do a push-up. That's why I'm hiring you. I said, I know, I get it. I just wanna see your form. She gets down on the floor and does a push-up. One, two, I was like, oh no. She goes, Kathy, I can't do push-ups. And I said, oh, can't never did anything and it's still in the dictionary. Yeah. Taught her a very valuable lesson that I'm gonna teach you today. Oh, she needed work on her form. She probably needed some upper body strength as well. She was 18 years old and I knew she could do it. I knew it. And I often hear people tell me when I ask them to do something in their exercise, I can't do that. Yeah, if they've been training with me long enough, they know not to say can't. Can't never did anything and it's still in the dictionary, you know. Change that word to try, just try. That's all I ask. And as their trainer, I know what they can and can't do. I'm not going to ask them to go run a marathon when they just hired me, like the biggest loser trainers would do. So I got down on the floor and I showed her how to do push ups. And at the time, I'm probably twice her age, probably a little bit older than that. Granted, I've been working out a while and I knew how to do a push up and I had the upper body strength. However, I showed her a little trick. For I knew if she was to ask to get down and do push ups the way she was doing them, which they expected her to be able to do, those military guys were going to eat her for lunch. So, what does she do? I showed her, I said, look, just make it look easy. I know it's hard. It's hard for me. I'm sitting here doing push-ups while I'm talking to her. And I said, this is not easy. But when you shift to a smile on your face while you're doing that, ooh, it changes everything. You can apply this to everyday situations. Recently, I had a really bad headache and I lay there in bed and I knew, thinking to myself, what would I do? What would I coach somebody to do? I sit there and put a smile on my face. I was in pain. I've often heard coaches say, if you fall in love with the pain, it goes away. Now, is it that simple? Probably not, but it is a mindset shift. And guess what? My headache started to diminish quickly. I do this in the mornings. I am not a morning person, but I get up and go to the gym and the alarm goes off and I'm thinking, oh, I just want to sleep in today. I'd rather look at the back of my eyelids than wake up. But that's not always the case. So I put a smile on my face because as I wake up in the morning, I can feel my face doesn't feel the same. You know, it just, just relaxed. And so I just put a smile on my face and it shifts everything. For science proves it. Science proves that a smile shifts everything. There's an old book by Frank Betcher. I'll put a link in the description below. And it was, talks about being a salesperson and how he raised himself up from failure into success. And one of his biggest things was the smile. For think about it, when you approach somebody with a smile, your energy is totally 
different. And yeah, you can smile with your eyes. You can smile with your eyes. Your face just knows. Your psychology knows. When you smile, it shifts everything from people's response to you, like my girl that was doing push-ups, to your own personal response in your brain. In personal training, I use this analogy all the time. For people get this grunty look on their face and they're like really struggling and I'm like, just smile, just smile and count when you're doing the exercise for your breathing properly. If you're counting one, two, you're breathing just the way you need to breathe without even having to think about it. But what makes it even better is that smile makes it easier. Just like getting out of bed in the morning when you don't want to, if you smile, it shifts everything. For years, I taught boot camp. And as a fitness instructor, I can tell you that if you're struggling up there in front of your class, the most fit person will not work very hard. For they're thinking to themselves, if it's hard for Kathy, it's hard for me and I can't do it. I had to learn how to make my body work appropriately and make it look easy. So I tell my clients when they're struggling with their workouts, I teach them this method, the smile, the make it look easy. I tell them, make it look easy. So here's a trick. When you're struggling in your fitness and cardiovascular fitness is your most important fitness. And we're going to talk about that next week. It's ideal to bring your heart rate down. And the way you do that is you take a couple of deep breaths, just one or two. And if you've trained yourself to do deep breathing like I teach, your heart rate's going to come down real quick. And that makes it easy. That is the ideal way to train. So during my exercise class, when my heart rate would get up high, I've already trained my breathing. So I take a couple of deep breaths and bring my heart rate down. When I did that, it made it look easy. So me, as somebody who's two times the age of somebody I'm training, who's trying to get their fitness to a good level, I'd make it look easy. But I also taught them how to make it look easy. This is perfect analogy for life in general. Just smile. And deep breathing is so important to bring your heart rate down that it will make you feel better. Take the book Inner Size by John Asser. He teaches us to take six deep breaths to calm our heart rate, to calm our body, to exercise our body. Link in the description below to the book, but there's so much more to that than anything. Your breath is a very important factor in your fitness. Your cardiovascular fitness is so important, but it's also mindset. Inner size. Deep breathing should be five to six seconds in and five to six seconds all the way out. I talked about this in my video on lungs. I even have a presentation that's in that video. I'll put a link in the description below and also right here, right here. Can't remember where it goes, but it'll be up there. Okay. I want you to go watch that. And also download the little PDF that goes with it because it's helpful to keep in mind and remember that your lung health is so important, especially in this day and time. But today we're talking about smile and mindset. And I want you to always put a smile on your face to shift the mindset and make it look easy. So guess what? The girl went into the military. She knew how to do push-ups. The right way. Even though she may have struggled, she still got them done. And the military guys thought she made it look easy. So hello, it's all psychological. Keep a smile on your face. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Peace out and namaste.